Yep. You guys seen that title, right? <sighs> this is the last one. I just can't keep going anymore. Before you jump to conclusions and think that I'm just giving up too easy, look. You see that redness? I have allergies. You guys expect me to keep going day after day after day, video after video after video with, with that going? Really? Anyway, I got a couple things I need to button up real quick before the storm rolls in. But in the meantime, let me play you guys another oldie that I found <laughs> of me. I, and I mentioned it the other day and, and completely forgot to put it in here because I, I've just been running like a madman. But here's the monster truck video that I, I mentioned the other day whenever Got Got was pregnant with our little boy Finley. And I seen this minivan that was turned into a monster truck. And I, I'll just let the video speak for itself. Here's that. I think you're gonna be proud of me. I know you said you didn't want to go down that minivan route and you didn't want to go ahead and, and lose all, you know, your spirit and youngness and all that. But I got a hell of a deal in this minivan that's going to be perfect for our growing family. Look at that son right there. Oh, let me tell you what. Now, let me show you a few things here before you go ahead and down it. Now, right here, you go to the soccer practice form. You turn that son bitch on right there and you'll light the whole field up. You'll be the coolest mom there. And, you know, we're going to raise a little flight boy, and he just might like him heavier girls. Look at these shots right here. Not a thing to worry about. See this thing right here? Now, when they go run their mouths and acting all bad, ain't nothing to shut a ass kid up like a big loud exhaust like that. You give that a couple revs there, hit the gas pedal, shut them right up. And for them ones that run out front of you, out front of the school, look at the size of that brake. You'll stop right now on a dime. Not to mention the size of tires on there. You know them stupid speed bumps they put out there to make you go 10 mile an hour? Yeah, won't even feel it. What speed bump? I'm telling you right now, hon, I sure hope the hell you ain't mad because I already signed the papers on this. Yeah, I still to this day love the way... My favorite part of that video is how I signed it off when I was like, I sure hell hope you ain't mad because I already signed the papers this. I thought to me, oh, I remember watching it over and just being... So proud of myself that I, I I done it that way. But for today, the plan is the boys, they want to take the go-kart out and actually play with it, which I'm fine with. If this went right, I, I may have put the opening clip today, the slow-mo that I got of my boy Dalton <laughs> coming around that corner. It, it's funny how slow-mo can make anything look cool, right? We're on a little tiny Murray go-kart, which does have a Predator engine on it, don't get me wrong, and it's faster than it should be. But it's not, you know, it's not anything super cool, but it makes it look cool. So that's the plan for today. We did crack the roll cage mount a little bit the last time we had it out. So we got to do some welding on it, which is another freaking awesome thing for father-son to do, for my son to practice his welding skills a little bit. I'm sure we're going to booger it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. It's fine. Who cares? As long as it holds, it's the only thing that matters. And they get practice. And that's what I, I try to drive home to them so much. And he's hard on himself and he's like oh i mean you know i'm like dude who cares it's holding that's all that matters man that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna get some clips of us playing around on the go-kart hopefully everything works right you know how it is with these small engine toys and i tried to explain this to these boys i said dude that's that's how it is you spend if you're out seven hours riding around on a four-wheeler dirt bike go-kart whatever it is you're gonna spend five of those seven hours trying to get that piece of crap to run right am i right um, and then the other two hours actually riding the thing. So that's what the plan is for today. But before, before we get into that, I want to get, I want to have a, a little serious conversation here because I want to try to share a story every day. This storm's going to beat me to it. I want to talk about a near death experience that I never, for some reason, I never shared with you guys. I got tons of footage, by the way, of stuff that I, for some reason, and it's because I'm so busy, right? Life just keeps going and going and going, and I'm going to keep going. And if I didn't say this already, because this is a couple cuts later, yeah, I know. People are trying to get me to slow down. People are trying to get me to not do this. People are trying to <sighs> discourage me from trying to make it any significant amount. I'm at day 17 right now, and I see no signs of stopping, and I don't care 
Dude, I, I don't even care if YouTube tries to stop me. If YouTube stops recommending my videos because they knew they were making more money off of me being an a-hole and talking shit about people, right? I don't care. Slow, try to slow me down, YouTube. I don't care because I know why I'm doing this. My passion is way more drive than any. I don't care if I upload the next five videos and they don't get but 10 views a piece and maybe one comment saying, dude, you ain't done yet. Just stop already. I don't care. I'm going to keep going. This is going to be memories for me. This is going to be something I can look back at. This is a project for me. This is something I'm one day at a time. Everybody's got that one thing that they really want to strive for, they really want to push for, and there's always going to be that pushback, no matter what. It, it doesn't matter what it is you're going to do, there's always going to be something, right? And in my case, it's low view count, comments, whatever, uh, that's trying to get me to quit. I'm not going to quit. And you shouldn't either. No matter, if you, whatever it is you guys are doing, don't quit either. Just keep going and going and going and do it for your reasons, not for theirs. I just so happen to have pretty much a whole week off next week. I already have some stuff scheduled. We're gonna have some really good fun with the boys out there on some trails and some side-by-sides and cat. I'm sure we're gonna get ourselves in some trouble. But in the meantime, I'm off a few days before that and I wanna get into the little bit of prank space again, like I used to. And I've already got a cameraman booked. Old Ragnar is gonna go to Walmart. Ragnar to tractor supply. Ragnar is gonna take, he's gonna go around town. Is what I'm saying. Back to this near-death experience. For some reason, I never shared this, but you guys know Zach from the Freedom Factory, right? Zach from the Cletus crew. He literally saved my life, or at least saved me from some pretty bad injuries. I was at the Freedom Factory, and I got in a car with Zach and a couple other guys. We were going to go around the track, right, to do some practice laps, and Zach kind of show us, show us how the track worked. And I jump in the back of this Crown Vic, and I'm in back passenger seat. And I go to shut the door, and the handle was, like, broken. The handle that you grabbed to shut it, it was, like, literally off, like, barely hanging on. So you always want to just watch. So I go to shut it, and I could tell it didn't shut all the way. But I also didn't think Zach was going to go as hard as a car could go around the track. <laughs> so I went to go shut it. We're all bullshitting together. I I'll splice in the clips in here as I'm, as I'm explaining this, but... We go to go onto the track and Zach stops himself and says, Hey, man, you gotta, you gotta shut that door like Whistle and Diesel. Once you get going. Yeah, uh, that door you have to slam like Whistle and Diesel. I <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's been that, it's okay, everyone. <laughs> There's some well, that's why the there. handle's ripped off, ain't it? I take his advice and I slam it as hard as I can. And you guys already know me and seatbelts, I don't. I don't buckle up. But we go onto the track and we start to go around the track and he grabs a hold of the mount of his seat and hammers it. And we go through the turns hard. And like he says, that was at least a 21 second lap that we ran. I mean, that was probably a 21 right there yeah. that we just went. It was awesome. Thanks, Zach. No yeah, problem. Thank you. I'm in the back seat and, and I even say this in the video, I asked Zach, I'm like, I, it, maybe there's just more inertia back here because it just flew, if you've ever been on those like fair rides where it just slings you or that one where you stand up and it pushes you against the wall, like the back seat of that car, I mean, and the dude sat next to me was smashed into me. And we, that door was the only thing stopping us from just flying out of this car onto a concrete track and <laughs> breaking our necks or whatever. It really sounds like a, a nightmare, you know what I mean? Like a lawsuit situation for Cletus. And it's kind of crazy that that's how he operates down there. But I'm sure he doesn't do that with just anybody that wanders on the track. Say, hey, jump in the back of this car. But <laughs> we go around that track, and the, the only thing I could think about was how much weight is on this door. And if it blows open, there's nothing I can do to keep myself in this car. So <laughs> we go a couple laps around. He finally slows down, and I go to thank him. And he thinks that I'm thanking him for, like, the tips on how to get a faster lap on the uh, Freedom Factory track. <laughs> I always try and let you guys feel how aggressive it feels yeah. before so that someone doesn't go out and go, oh, like this 
feel like I'm pushing it too hard or anything like that. Okay. No, I was thinking you were telling me to slam this door. Because so. <laughs> I was riding that door. That thing, like, listen, I was riding it pretty hard. <laughs> you had me right into it. Awesome, man. And I'm like, nah, dude. I'm thanking you for telling me to slam that door because if not, I wouldn't be here right now. But anyway, storm's rolling in and uh, so is the go-kart content. Another little cow's tail warm. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just burning it. If you guys don't mind, join me on another video of having some fun with my sons. And at some point in this, I say, I can't believe that we put this go-kart up for two years. This thing's pretty fun, right? We get some slow-mos, we get some good clips, man. I hope you guys enjoy that. So let's roll into the go-kart clips. And I love you guys. And for y'all telling me that I should quit and I'm wasting my time and you're unsubscribing, peace out and go eat it. With some syrup, you gotta put syrup on them. I am I gonna buy the go-kart now? <laughs> Break stuff too, the more we have to fix, the more we can practice welding, right? I wonder if we could scoot that seat back any further. A little bit more leg room. I think you can. Yeah, you totally can. Why don't we do that? Here's some hammered black. It's actually kind of fitting because this go kart's pretty hammered. <laughs> Should we let it cool or I think it matters to paint it on the hot? All right, we're all loaded up. We fixed that. I mean, there's some good looking welds on there. Just take my word for it. Scooted the seat back a little bit. Cause even though we're not supposed to be riding it cause we're too big for it, we can at least feel a little bit better. We scooted it from, it was, was right around there, which was extremely uncomfortable. Now it's just right here at mildly uncomfortable. All we gotta do is get some gas. Right? How many smiles per gallon you think this? Well, doesn't hold much gas, does it? Holds about a grin. <laughs> you find a good spot, buddy. You're pretty smart. The wind feels good under here. We're in the shade. We got a fence surrounding us. So that loud mean go kart can't get us. Pretty smart dude. You guys remember the struggle? Remember being a kid? And it was an all day mission pulling rope and just a ride for a couple minutes. Floor it! The choke's still on a little bit. We thought our welds were bad. Hey, Didn't you need a new closet door? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he comes. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dude, it rattles your guts. No, it did? Yeah. yeah. Dang! Alright, Cole. What? Hey, you're recording. Please don't drop it. Don't drop his face. Oh my back, dude! <laughs> 
Gadget man, running. He's getting away. He's dusting everyone. <laughs> 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 